the 2021 Radio Free 102.3 KJLH Proven Achievers. She Honors African-American women who are making a difference in our community. Wow. You know, on the heels of our inauguration, I'm inspired by a wide range of women who continue to dismantle boundaries um, that once prevented someone like me from achieving my full potential. And although I could go on and on and on and list all of the amazing figures that have really shown up the last few months in our country and in our city and in our world, I definitely have to say that Rachel Robinson remains at the top of the list for me. Um, I admire Rachel because of the advocate that she is, a retired nurse and educator, and frankly, as the widow of Jackie Robinson, she was ultimately the backbone. Um, for me, she continues to serve as a shining example of preservation and of self-love. Um, I admire Rachel, uh, but I'm also, as a Jackie Robinson Foundation alumna, so proud and grateful to have her in my life and to be able to call her a mentor. Today, I am most inspired by our youth. Um, I am just amazed um, every day that I turn on my television or radio or read the paper or look at social media. Um, our youth today are so intelligent. They are so innovative and so creative. And, you know, every generation, you know, you think and you hope will do better than the generation before. And so when I look at them compared to where we were when, when I was 12 or 15 or 20, and some of the things that they are accomplishing, I am just so inspired and so proud. And I feel like if this is, if, if the youth today are our future, then we're gonna be in pretty good hands. I have the privilege of spending some time with um, the women at Mount St. Mary's University, the Doheny campus, which is in my district. Uh, many of them uh, on the campus are young women of color, most of whom are first time college attendees of their families. And when I spend time with them, I'm painfully reminded that I am further away from them in age than I really think I am. <laughs> um, but to hear their courage, their conviction, their commitment to service, to public service, recognizing that they are of a generation of current and future leaders who have lived through this country having a, their, its first African-American president, who have lived through now seeing a black woman um, take the oath of office for vice president. So this next generation of leaders have a different um, vision of what leadership looks like than someone of my generation and older. And so what inspires me is their reality and the fact that the sky will truly be the limit for them because they are living through a time where many of these barriers have been crushed. And so when you think about their lens, about, about what's possible, um, it's beyond my imagination and I'm just ready to get out of the way and let them soar. There's not one person, but I am most inspired by people, by elderly people who are still out there making a difference and doing their thing. I am most inspired by people who do not um, use the word retirement as a destination point. I am most inspired by people who know that decades of living should result in decades of giving. I'm inspired by people who don't quit, who don't stop, who constantly persist, who constantly reinvent, who give to other people, who make themselves available. I'm inspired by people who, they may sit down and rest, but they keep it moving. People like my father, 86 years old. He's uh, one of the leaders of the resident group in his home and uh, He's just highly, highly inspirational to me, people like that. I have so many people that inspire me, that mentor and coach me. Um, but in the spirit of today, Inauguration Day, um, I'm inspired by Kamala Harris to be the first US American um, vice president. That is an incredible accomplishment. She's come a long way and she's had a remarkable career and I'm really inspired 
with her vision for a better America. She